Oh wow, the environment changed. That's so cool. I guess then every stage is gonna be different. <laughs> that wasn't like that in the previous game. Quill approached Veda's throne with the confidence of a champion. Rootseer Veda, Sarfog is dead, she proclaimed. My reader and I stand before you now to ask for your help. Yes, the winds carried swift word of your victory, Twofold, Veda replied. And for making safer our soil, we are grateful. We'd be honored to provide both you and Argus safe passage back to your home in the clearing. Well, <laughs> I don't think so. Did we meet Veda in the previous game? I don't remember. Thank you, Quill replied. But Moss will never be safe until all the forged armies are defeated. I have been chosen to safeguard the glass, and with the sprites fighting by our side, my reader and I will claim it all and end the arcane. Veda was wide-eyed at this news. Seemingly in awe. But the awe was anger. The glass cannot be joined! Beta fumed. We separated it for a reason. And now some young, naive mouse dares to bring them together? Quill was caught off guard, but kept her composure. Times have changed! Time is repeating! Beta snapped. The last one who dared to hold these five glass toyed with all our fates. So I will help you twofold. I'll help you to restore a vital balance. Give us back the green glass. Jeez, you mad? Look at the peace and prosperity our realms knew before the Cinder Knight, back when the glass was separate. Veda continued. It is your duty to keep the torched wings that dominate our skies from riding the end for us all. Quill dug in. My uncle Argus, commander of the King's Guard, entrusted me and my reader to restore peace. We will face the Arcane and take their glass. It's the only way. Argus is gravely mistaken. Veda seethed. Hmm. Interesting. Are you here to play God, Raider? She shouted to the sky. Is that it? Do you think yourself wise enough to author our fates? Quill defended her partner. We'll fight this war on our own if we have to. And so you will. Let her pass, Veda ordered her soldiers. Then seal off every portal here. I had hoped you wiser than Argus, child. I pray our fates remain our own. <laughs> Try to come for me. That's not how it works. Whatever, we'll be fine. As Quill headed back to the castle, the toad consoled her in his own prickly way. Don't take it too hard. There's a lot going on that your tiny brain couldn't possibly comprehend. Stay safe, Furball. There's no reason to be rude. <laughs> well, at least I have a power song. I got something out of it. The farther Quill walked, the worse she felt. Uncle Argus had believed in her, and she'd failed miserably. Did we collect all the scrolls in this level? No. Well, I was hopeful. We didn't even have to backtrack. 
the storyline leads us there. Hey, a kid. Durin? You're alive? You need to quit messing with those stick-headed sprites. It's glass you need. And you'll find it right through this door. Crush the Keeper, break the Hex, and you're in. Follow me. Hmm. The last time Quill saw Durin, he was snapped up in the jaws of Sarfog. Yet, here he was, unscathed. What a wondrously strange creature, Quill thought, and hurried to catch up. <laughs> Just for that? All right. Come on, kid. Gotta move while he's still sleeping. Oh, it's a <laughs> marionette. <laughs> Not a scroll there. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> so, what's this door on the side? Okay, well. We didn't even talk with the uncle. <laughs> what? The keeper lives inside that greenhouse, kid. Adurin spun a gesture toward the shiny building in the distance. Whoa. Me? I wouldn't dare. But for a two fool like you, quick business. Insane. Quill wondered why Adurin was so skittish. But if his plan led to more glass, then she wouldn't have to return to her uncle empty handed. green one so we are in the new area and the name is I love that she has now little interactions with the environment the game kinda gives you an idea that she's alive because she is <laughs> but it's just those little things that really make the immersion so real Completely new. <laughs> okay. Just the right angle. Oh, 
<laughs> Bye. Where do you even come from? <laughs> we can go there or there. I Means close, so maybe later. That's suspicious. How's the combat with them? They literally come from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> It's so stupid, but so cute. Well, that was our little combat area. I'll try fastly the, the closed doors. Maybe it was some bonus. No idea. Oh, this is just a scroll. Fine with me. As Quill reached the greenhouse, her excitement rose. It was spilling with beautiful and wild plant life. And the keeper was hiding somewhere at the heart of it. It's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> 